A very warm welcome to everybody here. You'll get a practical welcome to this particular building in the, from the next speaker after me. Um, so my name is David Mowat and this is a particularly important evening for me. I've been curating concerts, putting things together for many years and particularly doing a lot of music work around, um, around Palestine. And uh, the reason for that is a personal connection. So my father has told me stories about, in 1946, being in the Labour Club in a sleepy little fishing village quite far from the, the centre of uh, Palestine in, in Gaza. Uh, it's a big beach, nothing much going on. He was kind of wandering up and down with a donkey, not much to do with the British Army. Uh, he was a conscientious objector and he, sp he spent uh, about a year of his, a bit more than a year of his life at the t tag end of the, uh, the British Empire mandate responsibility for that part of the world. And then he used to go back and um, um, when he was still well enough to travel, he took me on one of those trips in 1991. I myself went to Gaza in a big yellow Mercedes taxi across rutted roads. Um, it was a kind of like a chaotic, noisy journey. Um, in those days Palestinians were going into Israel to work and then coming home at night and we saw various NGOs. And what was striking about Gaza in relation to the rest of the West Bank um, was how uh, kind of rambled and ramshackled and under-resourced it was. There were still open sewers in, in kind of concrete culverts in the street. There was a, a kind of a cesspool pond with a dying animal in it. It was, um, but there was this kind of vibrancy in the culture. Remember those? Those were the days of hope for a lot of people, false hope as it turned out very soon, uh, of um, end of the, towards the end of the First Intifada when Gaza was, when, sorry, the Oslo Accords were starting to, um, were being shaped at the time. So that was my um, connection to Gaza, and I've wanted a connection ever since. Um, I've had connections with the West Bank, I had a wonderful connection in 2005 with um, the Edward Said Conservatory of Music in Bethlehem and took some instruments across. I was on a walking pilgrimage, uh, later a human rights worker, and um, I thought I, since um, 16 years ago when, that was another time that I was in, in 2006, I'll keep this brief, but it's really personal to me as well, um, there were elections. Remember the international community supervised those elections and um, they were free and fair elections and everyone reckoned they were very well. But the Palestinians voted in the wrong people, um, according to this, this hypocritical notion of, of what's right. Um, and there was a majority for Hamas in the Gaza area. Uh, and a year later, Israel started imposing its, its inhumane, barbaric blockade on the area. And we're 16 years into that blockade. And the last several years, I've been having personal connections with people in Gaza. And today, tonight, um, developing a connection with musicians in Gaza, which is kind of close to my heart as a trumpet player and a musician. Um, so that's a really wonderful part of this evening. In defiance of the, the horribleness of the occupation and the division it tries to create, is this cultural link, this human link between us, between you um, and people in Gaza in both ways. And that's such an important thing to happen on a human level, on a hope level of hope, on a level of, of survival. So thank you so much for being here um, tonight and being part of that connection. Good evening everybody and a very warm welcome. As David has said, my job is to give you the practical welcome so I'll keep it pretty brief, uh, but nonetheless warm for that. Um, we're all here to listen to some great music and also, of course, to welcome the arrival of the Gaza flotilla ship Handler here in Bristol. So I want to give a specially warm welcome to four crew members who are sitting over there and part of our audience.
words about our museum before we begin the music. Um, I'd like you all to know that we're celebrating this year the 10th anniversary of the Palestine Museum and Cultural Centre. Um, so that's quite an achievement. I haven't been volunteering for 10 years, but there are people in this room who have been, and really we owe them a lot of thanks for keeping the Palestine solidarity alive and continuous throughout that 10 years. Um, we're still innovating. You will notice over there we've got music in Ramallah. That's our new display that we're just preparing. It uh, seemed relevant to mention it as we're here for a musical evening. Um, our sound recordist tonight, Greg, was in Ramallah recording all kinds of music, traditional, um, hip-hop, classical, and he's made a wonderful series of, of, of tracks which can be listened to here in the museum, and you can read about the musicians as well in that corner. So that's an innovation. We do try to, in the museum, to celebrate the culture and achievements of Palestine, as well as telling a sad history. It's a history of achievement, not just a history of suffering and victimhood. And we will try to put that across in the museum. So thank you for coming. Um, we hope to see most of you again sometime in the future. We're open every weekend, Saturday and Sunday, from 11 till 6. And it's time now to enjoy the concert. So back over to David and the musicians. Next one is a fisherman story. I tried to write a rough and dirty translation. It's the story of a fisherman, a harbour in an old city. In the darkness, he set sail guided by the, remis the reminiscence of that lighthouse. He got used to the night waves and a small rocking boat. Ten times a night, he pulls a heavy rope. It left a red scar covered with sea salt. He never feared darkness, the waves nor the scar. Skin and guts made of steel and rock, made to last. So our fishermen. عشر سنين هادي كل ليل غادي قبل الفجر قادوا دو فنار واللي في موج الليل فلوكة صغيرة تميل يجر حبل تقيل في يدو نار عشر سنين هادي كل ليل غادي قبل الفجر قادوا دو فنار واللف موج اللي فلوكة صغيرة تميل يجرح بل تقيل في يدو نهار تخلي خط أحمر مغطي بملح البحر جلد حديد حجر شحال صبار تخلي خط أحمر مغطي بملح البحر جلد حديد حجر شحال صبار عوام عوام 
عوام ما يخاف من الظلام مفقود حتى نهار يعود عوام ما يخاف من الظلام مفقود حتى نهار يعود يعود للمرصاد وقصر البحر أمواج وصخر ومرجان للفران لي فوق التل طين وحطاب ودخان ويد المعلم والنقش الألوان وباب السوق اللي كان أيام زمان ويد المعلم والنقش الألوان وباب السوق اللي كان أيام زمان قصة صياد ومرسى ومدينة قديمة قصة صياد ومرسى ومدينة قديمة عوام ما يخاف من الظلام مفقود حتى نهار يعود عوام ما يخاف من الظلام مفقود حتى نهار يعود together for Sounds of Sagan's project. Um, we researched a lot of music and there's one particular, one artist that I particularly, particularly love and that's, he's called Abdel Ghadir Salim. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, from one of his records. This is called Batsama. And one, one, one thing that I like very much that Ali, used, Ali told me that um, when, when he grew up as a boy, he, that sort of song used to play out of uh, ice cream parlors and, uh, <laughs> and stuff. So it's kind of fits Sudanese pop music, really. But I, 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 I love it. The first stuff is a little improvisation. I'll give you, I'll give you a cue, yeah? No, no, I'll give you a Tikil wasama, 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 t
with Gaza, I mean, it's, it's amazing to hear these young people and think they're, you know, shut from the world in there, but they somehow connect with us through technology. So we have uh, Jack Mitzvere and uh, Alejandra who came with us uh, from Cardiff to Bristol and Jace behind the camera. And yes, you're welcome to come and see Dandala and uh, show solidarity with our endeavor to end this inhuman and criminal blockade. Thank you. Thank you. Hello there, my name is Jack. Um, I come from the Isle of Skye up in the northwest of Scotland. And a good friend of mine asked me to come and join the Handala. Um, and my only connection to Palestine is through solidarity, but uh, this is the first harbour I've visited and seeing the response and the welcome that's been received is uh, allowing that feeling to grow. So thank you all so much for, for having us and for everything, all of the, uh, the hospitality that's been shown is incredible. So thank you again. Um, I just want to say thank you as well and for all the support to Palestine and I've been involved in Palestinian solidarity for the past 10, 11 years and it's really nice to see the room full and this incredible place as well. And thank you so much for the support. As Zoha said, come and visit the boat. Um, it's just by the M shed from two, from 12 to, 12, 12 to six. 12 to six until and, 19th, until no, until until you, Six. Yeah, Wednesday the 19th. 19th. 19th? Yeah. No, I think I think 19 not gonna have because is when the boat is going. But then maybe look in, on social media. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Um. <laughs> So, uh, I just want to say, my name is Svadre. I'm uh, right now the only Norwegian member of the crew, and uh, I don't really have that much to say except say uh, thank you for the warm welcome for a third time, and uh, you guys are amazing. So, 
So we have musicians from the Edward Said Conservatory of Music. You can imagine the conditions which they live under in order to not just live, not just survive, but <coughs> produce culture, you know, be part of this vibrant Palestinian uh, scene of life and resistance, which I've experienced and many people here have. Let's uh, give them a warm welcome. Yeah. Uh -huh. 